Uh, sometimes I just try to envision it and then see how things fall into place. Sometimes it comes to me through an idea or sometimes I just start painting music. As I see it, music kind of flows and so the artwork kind of goes into that. He was really, really methodical about color and ideas for putting pieces together and also really accepting uh, feedback from either me or from his peers. Kevin is hilarious. He's really funny. He loves puns and joking. And so um, I just really enjoyed that about him. He had a great personality and he was just, just made the class so much fun. I feel like he's just like a really smart individual because like we would have like kind of playful banter about like how fast we could do like the math in our class. He's just super smart and he's very funny. He's a very funny guy and just very nice and sweet to talk to. I mean for me sometimes when I listen to music I imagine colors flowing kind of integrating with each other. I just remember having fun with coloring books when I was young and then like a well, my vision kind of faded away a little bit more. Actually, I was born blind, although I think some of my vision just started to kind of, it might have progressed to loosen or so. Yeah, I do see shapes. I see like certain colors, although uh, most of the time I can't distinguish them. Kevin is a wonderful kid. He always underestimates how amazing he actually is. Um, he does quite a bit of um, pivoting, especially in the beginning of the year when he's having to get to know new teachers. Um, he always underestimates his ability to comprehend and then he always exceeds his own, you know, my expectations, his expectations. And it's not just because he's the kid with the visual impairment, he's a, he's a brilliant kid. He designs beautiful jewelry and he would always be really smart about surveying the class and other people like me about what colors would be nice, what to put together, what designs. I mean, before it was just uh, random beads strung together. And then as I kind of gained more inspiration, they became more organized and kind of became nicer. Well, the first two weeks of every single year is struggling since the uh, teachers kind of take a while to kind of get used to me being in the classrooms. But then, or kind of, it takes me like a while to adjust to every single individual class. Many people have heard, have um, called this a uh, walking stick, but it's actually called a white cane. So it unfolds, you hold it like this, and what I do is just sweep back and forth. When I hit something, I just move out of the way or find another path. It doesn't have to, it doesn't mean that your life is kind of ending. You just need to, or that you should stop doing what you love. You just should find ways around it through accommodations, accessible technology, such and such. What's your last period of what class do you have next, Kevin? Uh, chemistry. Chemistry? With who? Uh, Mr. Tanko. Mm. I want to talk to his mom. I'll show Mr. Albright. He's all fine. He can be a star. When I first got here, I just thought that it was really loud. Then I kind of like got used to it. Shanka. Yeah. Have you ever? I'm sure you're good at it at this point, but at first, did you ever bump into someone? Oh, a lot of all times. All the time. Yeah. All the time. No one's like gave you any trouble with it, though, right? I'm sure they all understand. Uh, no. Some of them actually trip over oh, wow. and then start like cursing or something. Oh wow. Yeah, most of the time I just uh, take a clear path where people are walking. Do you just look right? That's my favorite one of all time. 
What do you listen to on those headphones, Kevin? Oh, um, it's a screen reader. Got it, got it. So it helps you kind of like navigate during class? Yeah, it reads out uh, what's on the screen. Got it. That's it.